Tuesday night, a fire broke out in the Samras homes of two families, tragically killing one person and seriously injuring several more. At approximately 10 minutes past midnight, firemen were called to a house on Quality Avenue. Officials on the scene said that flames were consuming the entire house. Four people were reportedly trapped inside the residence at first, according to the authorities. Firefighters faced difficulties getting inside the flaming building as they carried out multiple rescue attempts. Regretfully, the house sustained significant damage. John Roche, the chief of the Samras Fire Department, reports that at least one person has perished. As of right moment, the victim's identify has not been made public. Initial reports on Tuesday night included details regarding the severity of the injuries. Although the exact number of injuries is yet unknown, fire officials stated that some of the casualties are young. Rescue teams had a tough time getting to the second location because of the heavy traffic in the front portion of the house. They made amazing attempts to get in touch and offer support. We made several attempts, grabbed onto whatever we could, and pulled the victims out, Roche stated. Four persons are thought to have lived on one side of the home and seven on the other. Whether every homeowner was home when the fire started has not been confirmed by officials. A nearby resident named Crew said that there were multiple persons trapped on the house's second level. One person leaped from a second-floor window during the fire. According to Lifestar, they were contacted to rescue people from the fire. It's unclear, though, precisely how many individuals Lifestar transported. The state fire marshal's office is conducting an investigation into the fire and Connecticut State Police are also on the site.